Uh, and the winner, the top two from this semi-final will join Mitch Rawlins and Tom Rigby in the final. Joe Clark, unfortunately, did not progress through. He was busy in that heat, but just didn't get enough, uh, didn't get the highest scoring waves, many. And but now this is, you know, this is going to be an exciting semi-final. All the scenarios are at play right here. I'm going to try to get oh my head oh around oh this oh and keep oh everyone oh updated. But firstly, in the water, in the blue, the wonder kid from Venezuela, Sergio Alonso. But up and riding, we have the local man, Ariam Cabrera, tries to get the time in. Starts off with oh, a nice... Oh, could not pull uh, around that. He caught. Not good news, but look, hey, that's the first wave. But this guy's a local. He knows it well. Here's, Sergio, here's Hugo Pinheiro, the Portuguese guy in white. He needs to qualify through to the final. Both, really, we need Andrew Lester and Hugo Pinheiro. Both need to get through to the final to keep their dream alive of qualifying for the 2012 Grand Slam series. Uh, Hugo's having another look at this one. That's from the previous seat coming in. Sorry, Manny. Yeah, they're supposed to be coming straight in, not do any maneuvers to confuse the judges, and uh, they or will the be penalized. Or the commentators, exactly. Or they will be penalized, so they know to come straight in and... Um, there you have it. Again, yeah. welcome everybody. This is uh, the IBA 2011. This is the Foreign Tone Pro, brought to you by NMD Pride and Stealth, yeah, and web pass, webcast partner <laughs> of Grand Flavor. Look, Manny, we're decked out in the Grand Flavor gear. Yeah. Uh, you'll see Shaggy wants the beach interview start. He'll be decked out, and uh, the guys have been kind enough to to show us the range, allow us to exhibit the range. Jump online at GrandFlavor.com. New online store. You know, the new threads are amazing, and uh, let's see. You hop on there. But if you can't find it, just hop onto the. You're on the live feed. The web ad there's on the IBA website. That'll click you straight through. Up and riding the Canarian. Iram Cabrera finding another section on that left, and bottom turns goes for that section and cannot pull it off. Look at red bottom turning. Andrew Lester big through the lip roll right there. Nice move right there for Andrew Lester. Yeah, look. Strong open for Leicester. That become his trademark role. He gets the projection like no one else can. But we have Sergio Alonso who can get projection as well. Nice. Oh. Sergio Alonso finding a section. Big invert right there. Sergio Alonso, he has been on fire this entire tour. Going through trials, winning a trial. And here he is trying to get in. Well, he's in. He's in the main event. Yeah, he's in the main event. And look, I think I'll go as far as saying every trial he's done for the Grand Slam, he's got through to the main event. As you said, he amazing performance in Mexico and in Sintra and in Reunion Island and then now here. Believe it or not, he did not qualify into the top eight. His problem there was that he didn't have a strong GQS six-star mm. standalone event. So the criteria was, let's take a step back. The criteria is it's your best Grand Slam trials result followed up by your best six-star Grand Slam, not Grand Slam, global qualifying series event. Uh, and then the final input into the equation is where you finish on your national tour. So Andrew Lester won the Australian tour. Uh, Hugo Pinheiro came second in the European tour. They got valuable points. Uh, that they both had strong GQS results, but they now need to back it up with a strong gl gl global Grand Slam series trials result. And that's what they're looking for today. Sergio Alonso, he's won the trials. He went well, and he didn't have an Austra a strong domestic tour result, and unfortunately didn't have a strong GQS result. Yeah, unfortunately for Sergio Alonso, but you know what? I, I guarantee we'll see him again next year coming through the GQS and the trials of some of their Grand Slam Series events as well. This kid is uh, definitely one to keep your eye on, or Sergio, jo uh, Sergio Alonso from Venezuela. And he's always humble. Every time I see him, he's always smiling, always uh, happy-go-lucky, and uh, it's, it's good to see that those faces on the tour. Oh, definitely. Look at Rigos. Young blood. Look, there's more young blood. Sergio Alonso. He's, well, here's Lester again, up and riding. Nice bottom turn. Whoa, that was kind of quick and easy right there for Andrew Lester. I, I had no idea he was going to get that projected off of that lift or a quick backflip from Andrew Lester. Again, El Fronton, uh, you don't know what to expect because every move is possible. Yeah, look, those sections will come at you nice and fast. We can't forget, Manny, this is a razor-sharp, shallow reef underneath these guys. They yeah. seem to ignore that fact. But uh, Andrew Lester he said he got a... Uh, but yeah, I think this was his first wave. We'll see him anyway. He went up for that big, strong roll. Good projection and lands it. You know, nice, clean on the face. And he got a 5.5 for that. So currently in first position, only five minutes gone. But Andrew Lester has a 5.5 for that wave we just saw there. 
and a 1.5 for his other failed backflip. So combined score of seven and the highest score in the heat so far. Sergio Alonso in second place with a 4.75. Ariam Cabrera in third, but here goes. Sergio Alonso, bottom turning, looking left, bottom turning, nice speed, nice projection off the bottom, now finds a section, goes for an invert, tweaks his board mid-flight. Great move right there for Sergio Alonso. Nice, clean invert. The Venezuela wonder kid. Yeah, no, he knows how to fly. And look, he, that was okay, Manny, but I think, you know, the judges like to see that a bit earlier on in the wave. It didn't the, didn't create the section for him as he would have hoped. Look uh, at Rigos. So Rigos. Rigos is stoked. He's happy. He's there. He's going to block. And was, I'm not sure who he had there. It looked like Andrew Lester again, but, oh. Andrew Lester's all over the place yeah, right get him now. Busy, He's I hungry. told you, that's the theory. <laughs> Be busy. Be busy. And hopefully we get a replay. That was the left. I said, as the tide comes in, Manny, we're going to get more people going left that can actually uh, survive because it's super shallow at the moment. But as it builds, they'll go be going left. And there is a nice wrapping section for them to hit. Uh, so Andrew Lester, he had a look at that. Uh, let's see what the scores will drop. It doesn't look like it was a good score. Only, a, again, a 1.5. So it didn't create the opportunity he needed. Still in second place. Sergio Alonso's last wave, Manny. Yeah, Sergio Alonso's last wave, 4.15. That was enough to pump him into first place right now. 13 minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this heat. Again, out in the water. Or last heat's result you have on your screen. Winning that last, the first semifinal was Mitch Rollins. Thomas Rivi is stoked. He's going to be in the finals of the trials. Joe Clark in third and Silvano Lorenco. Unfortunately, Joe and Silvano did not make it to the trials final. Yeah, as I said, so there's our water cameraman, Sasha Specker, uh, one of the nicest guys you'll meet, one of the most talented photographers you'll meet. Uh, not only that, he's you know, a legendary bodyboarder. He was actually out there competing in the trials in the earlier rounds and just got knocked out in the quarterfinals. So bummer for Sasha, but a good deal for us. Now we're going to get some solid shots. Yeah, <laughs> nah, he always delivers. He's very good. But I think what Look at this. Pinera looking at that, nice little barrel. Nice. Out of that. He's trying to stall for it again. Wow. Okay. There's the first uh, co real combination move right there. Barrel to a roll on the exit. I don't know how the judges are going to score that at the very end, but the first combo that we've seen so far comes by way of Hugo Pinero. Yeah. I think Ariam Cabrera may have went left on that wave, man. We'll wait to see if we can grab a highlight. But uh, yeah, look, uh, Hugo only had a 1.0 for his first wave, so he just needed to get on the board. Uh, this was a strong wave, they said. Uh, I'm not sure how the judges will be scoring the barrels. It wasn't really a deep barrel, and it did pinch on him at the end. So, um, now I don't think it's going to be one of the heat's highest scores. No, but, no. Uh, look, you know, he's still 12 minutes to go. Uh, and that was Ariam Cabrera on that left. He only got a 3.5 for that wave. So, the situation remains unchanged. First place, the Venezuelan wonder kid, Sergio Alonso. Second place, the Australian... Andrew Lester with a 7.0. Uh, third place, still third place, I think, is the uh, local band Ariam Cabrera mm -hmm. uh, with a 5.5. And Hugo, still waiting for his second score to drop. But uh, I don't think it's going to be as high as some of the others. So I think he'll sit on third at best, maybe fourth. But I don't think he'll move into the top two. But uh, look, still 12 minutes to go. That's right. Again, so we're lucky to have the wind on our side right now like i said the last few days have been really windy and it really doesn't affect the wave that much because it, it is breaking on a shallow reef so all the water is just dumping on the shallow reef so the wind really doesn't have that much effect as it would on a beach break so we're lucky to have the event here at fronton and if it does get bigger and the waves stay calm you're going to see some amazing amazing bodyboarding action but look at this Glassy, semi-glassy conditions for the, the last few heats of the trials and the first round of the main event to go down today. Out in the water right now, semi-final, heat number two of the trials. Yeah, no, look, Manny, let's focus back on that scenario. And you've got the situation there. Andrew Lester and Hugo Pinheiro to keep their dream alive of making next year's dream tour, the 2012 Grand Slam Series. They need to make it into the final at least. Then there's more equations we can talk about. But first is first. They've got to get a first or second in this semi-final to progress through to the final. Uh, at nope. the moment, Andrew Lester's sitting in second place. But look, he has a 5.5, which is the highest scoring wave of the heat, which, he, which is good. But he hasn't a strong backup score yet. Hugo Pinheiro, he's sitting in fourth place with a highest score of a 4.0. Uh, 
He's got a little bit more work ahead of him, but yeah, amazingly talented rider, Hugo. And uh, we saw in the quarterfinal him you know, dropping sevens and eights. So, you know, if he did that, he'd be rocketing into first place. So, okay, anything can happen here with nine minutes, 50 to go. But, oh, Manny, I can feel the tension. These guys, was, you know, Andrew Lesser this morning, he was, he was tense. But he's, you know, he's been around a long time. He's, like, I think, you know, it was 10 years ago he, he was in the finals. He won Pipeline, actually, the Pipeline Pro. So, this guy, he's been around for a long time. So, if you think if anyone can handle the pressure, Andrew Lester's the man. But it also comes down to the other guys in the water and what Mother Nature serves you. That's uh, right. The, uh, the, uh, the cool thing about Andrew Lester is uh, I think he's pretty much saying, hey, if we're, if we're going to have a world tour in these kind of waves, I want to be a part of it. So a lot of the guys are starting to come out of the work work. And look at this. Nice bottom, nice clean drop right there. Uh, Holds onto his rail. Can he come out of that? No, too much froth, too much <laughs> whitewash coming out of that barrel. Too much for Sergio Alonso. Yeah, I thought he was going to pull it off. Yeah, I think he just saw the lead, caught that lip right on the head. It, it just showed you the potential of what the left can serve up, especially as the as the tide starts to fill in. Uh, you know, we've all seen images in the magazines and on the podcasts of, of some of those left-hand waves that just create an amazing barrel and end section. So we're, we're going to see that. The exciting thing is, Manny, the back end of the waiting period, we've got some big swell coming. So it looks like we're going to crown the world champion in eight foot plus conditions. That's going to be oh <laughs> insane. I can't wait for that. But we're going to see the, the world's best bodyboarders in w the world's best bodyboarding wave. And it's going to be, I, I can't wait for that day. I can't wait for the final. Let's hope Mother Nature has some mellow winds and some big swell because uh, glassy fronton. You've seen a lot of the video footage, a lot of photos, and it's just, it's amazing. Yeah, look, it's the sort of wave it does, it, you know, we'd all love it to be massive, Manny, and it, said it is looking like it will be, but waves like today... Hugo! Uh, uh, he just didn't get what he wanted there. Uh, yeah, waves like today, it's still, they're still high-performance waves, yeah. and uh, it's very, you know, very exciting. But here we have the local man, Aaron right, Cabrera. He's been busting ARSs all... all Whoa! Oh, nice. ho, ho. He just... Nice. I guess the problem there is, as it's all, it's, you saw it wedging across, but I guess the judges like to see them land on the open face and ride it through, but it's such a shifty wave here. Um, the judges need to adapt, but uh, let's see what the judges think. But here's his wave again, Manny. All right, so Ayram Cabrera, bottom turns. He has his eyes set on that section that he sees right in front of him and goes straight off the bottom, goes straight in skyward for a big invert air maneuver right there and lands on the other side of the wedge. So he's trying to kick up and over that to get that wave scored as a complete. So Ayram Cabrera, 3.85 on that wave. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a smaller wave. Yes, he got a lot of air, but uh, he la he landed off to the side of the wave instead of in front of the wave. So, which is hard to do here at Fronton. Yeah, no, look, most definitely, and it was enough to push him into second place. So at the moment, first place Sergio Alonso, second Ariam Cabrera in the white. We've Up got Hugo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hugo Pineda, A R S, an air roll spin maneuver coming off of that bottom turn right there for. Hugo Pinedo. He only needs a 4.9 to jump into first place and only a 3.35 to jump into second. I'd say that's going to happen. Uh, and he said with six and a half minutes to go, it's all happening. Uh, you know, anything can happen. But, uh, you know, I said, I think, as we see, let's have a look at this wave again. Nice, gets up to the section and look at little, that is nice. Andrew Lester. Andrew the Lester road. out the back, pulls oh. in under the section, gets barreled, oh, and he's, he's out, of out of that. Nice barrel ride for Andrew Lester. Little claim too. Look, that's probably the biggest barrel we've seen so far as action. It'll be interesting to see how the judges score that, but uh, and it was it, nice and deep. As he came out of that barrel, good. Let's we got another look at look this at right that. here. Andrew Lester, look how deep he is. Stalling. He knows how to ride a barrel. And the trick is, it's starting to pinch, pinch at the very end, and you'll see him high on the high line yeah. to get out of there nice and clean. So great Little barrel riding here. Watch this one. He was pretty happy with that. Come on, he says. Yeah. And uh, Andrew Lester, bang, 7.25. He's jumped back into first position. But Ariam Cabrera's got a section coming his oh. way. So look at that, man. A little flurry of activity. Andrew Lester jumps back into first position with that 7.25. He now has a combined score of 12.75. Sergio Alonso in second. Hugo Pinheiro in third. The important thing is, Hugo, if he wants to keep the dream alive to qualify for the 2012 oh World man. Tour... He needs to finish at least second. To do that, he needs a 4.51.
4.51 with five minutes to go. Very possible. <laughs> but he needs an 8.35 to jump into first. But hey, look, it's wide open. Ariam Cabrera currently in fourth position. He only needs a 5.05 to jump into second. So at the moment, Andrew Lester's giving himself a little bit of breathing room. He's jumped into first to be displaced. Sergio Alonso needs an 8.0 to, to jump into first. Hugo Pinheiro needs an 8.35. Ariam Cabrera needs an 8.9. So oh, you can never say never, but Lester will be breathing it a little bit easier. Yes. But four and a half minutes to go, you know, another set wave comes through. Any of these guys can drop an eight or eight plus, and Lester drops back to second. But the pressure really is now on the man from Portugal, Hugo Pinheiro. Oh, no. He's in third position. He needs a 4.51 to jump into second. That's all he needs to get into the final. That's his first, that's his only objective at this, uh, this stage. Yes. So he has four minutes to get a 4.51 at <laughs> Fronton to keep his dream alive to join the world's best in the 2012 Grand Slam series. So there, just so Ooh. you guys know, watching live, uh, this is the 2011 IBA NMD Pride Stealth Fronton Pro, but the scenario out in the water in the trials is actually going down to the wire for those who qualify in those last eight seats to make up the 24 seeds in the 2012 World Tour. Out in the water, this guy right here, Hugo Peñero, has everything to gain on this wave. Oh, no, and uh, he comes oh. around the section. Can he come out of that? No. I don't think so. He got pinched at the very end. I thought he was coming out of that. Uh, I saw exactly his body. Like he was just Explained on the previous wave of Andrew Lester's, he got in deep, then as it started to pinch, he got high and he got out of there. Yeah. Unfortunately, Hugo on his wave, he was in the barrel, but he didn't get himself high and he got pinched. Yeah. And Manny, that is so critical. He needed a 4.5. That could be his oh, man. world title chances for 2012. That is such a big wave. Um, I'm not sure if the scores have dropped. I'm not sure if that is the 2.9. Um, I think it was, man. The judges, um, well, they rightly so, he didn't make it out of the barrel. And, you know, I think a 2.9 is what was dropped for that wave. Well, and even though he's got, he's got a short paddle out back to the peak, but here's mm. the problem. There's three guys, because there's such a small area to take off on the good wave, everybody's going to be in that area. You'll see how close and tight these guys are on the peak. Well, Sergio, uh, Hugo Pinedo is going to paddle back out, and he has he's pretty much you know, fourth in line for that next wave because these guys are going to go look for that better wave. So, I don't yeah. know. That last wave could have been his last chance, but two minutes <sighs> remaining. Manny, the, the priority system is working. Great point. So, he's back at the end of the queue, but it's such a shifty peak. He doesn't have to sit there right in the pack. I imagine he'll sit over. Look at this. Look at this. Ariam Cabrera. Coming around the nice section. Set. Just, no, uh, didn't. Cr pushed across the reef. Didn't. Wasn't what he wanted. Two minutes to go. That's not going to trouble the scorers, but Hugo Pinheiro still needs a 4.5. The other fascinating angle here, Manny, we just saw image of, that was Sergio Alonso, strong roll. Uh, that could make life even harder for Hugo. Uh, but up there in the massive structure we have here at El Fronton it's is amazing. Tom Rigby. Tom Rigby sitting there, crossing fingers, crossing toes, that Hugo Pinheiro does Ooh. not make it into the final. Because if that happens, he is safe. He has qualified for the 2012 Grand Slam series because he's currently in seventh position. If Hugo drops out, he cannot move in. The only person who is then at risk is the South African Adam Morley with Andrew Lester. Got his eyes on his prize. Oh, no. But so Tom one Rigby, one minute to go. He's sitting out there holding his breath. He's, I'm sure his <laughs> mum's watching at home and he's you know big group of family and friends. Crossing fingers in the next 60 seconds that Hugo Pinheiro does not get a 5.85. Wow. After that Sergio Alonso roll, Hugo now needs a 5.85 to jump into second place. We've seen it. We've seen oh. the. We've seen the light get taken away from Thomas before the uh, first yes. event pipeline. on the tour in Pipeline when Jeff Hubbard came back from the depths of no man's land and took the win. Hopefully Hugo does not do that to Thomas here. He look is. at this. Another he look. Is. Look at Sergio, he's such a little kid. He got under the lip, but he <laughs> just busted through the lip. A nice, powerful roll. And look, he said, 50 kilos ring, he wet that guy, and he still came <laughs> out. And uh, look, he got a 5.5 and just made life difficult for the Portuguese man, Hugo. And look, let's shout at Hugo. I think he's got 10 seconds to go. The Portuguese fans would be cheering for him. He's looking at this wave, but he's going to be blocked by Ariam Cabrera. 
10 seconds oh. to go. Portugal holds its breath. Can he do it? Come on, Hugo. Let's see. Oh, if I was Thomas Rigby, I would buy this man a beer because Sergio, Hugo was yeah, looking at that was. wave and Aram Cabrera called him off, said this is my wave, and boom, got that last section. Who knows what Hugo could have done on that wave, but there you have it. Oh, the, it is all coming into place, man. The story's Woo being told. Tom Rigby, I wish we had footage because I'm sure he's doing cartwheels up there on the, uh, in the <laughs> scaffolding in, in, the pride, in the pride NMD Stealth VIP riders area. Yeah.